I am working it today at Idaho Falls Power. We are going to take a look at the city's traffic management system. I'm here with Saida. She's the traffic engineer for the city. And then uh, Bruce Scholes is uh, the traffic foreman. We're gonna, so they're going to show us different aspects of how the, the management for the traffic works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with Saida first. She's going to show us, uh, you know, she monitors everything. And we'll take a look at that and learn about that. And then we'll go with Bruce on a call. Saida, you have all these monitors in front of you where you monitor what's happening with the traffic in the city. So let's start with this one here. There's, it's a map of all the streets. Yeah, so it's a map of the traffic network um, around the city of Idaho Falls. Within our city, we monitor five city corridors. We are prioritizing a certain direction of traffic at a time. So typically in the morning, we would prioritize westbound traffic on Sunnyside Road or 17th Street versus in the afternoon, we prioritize the eastbound traffic. So on this map, you've got some streets are yellow some streets are red. What, is, what do the colors mean? This program gives us an idea about the current driving speed. These are actually using Bluetooth data of all the vehicles driving around. Green would indicate that it's pretty close to the speed. It's driving averagely about 38 miles per hour. Compared to the other yellow ones, you can see the difference. However, the red is much, much slower. So this map kind of gives us an idea about what is the current traffic scenario like throughout the city. This is the actual street live cam. So this is our, one of our traffic detection system. What this does is it uses different sensors to monitor if there is a vehicle coming or not and then it would keep the greens on. Okay, so it looks like we just got an alert on our screen. So what is what does this mean? So it means that an intersection went into flash, says that is right now not performing as it should. So now either Bruce or I, we, either of us have to go to the intersection to address this because it is a critical one, so it needs a manual reset. Okay, well, let's go talk to Bruce. Okay, Bruce, so we just got an alert. So how, how, what, was, what would be the first thing you would do on your end? I come in here and I determine which traffic signal it's, it's telling me that it's in flash, signal 100 is in flash. So then I can start looking at why it went into flash. It kind of gives me an indicator of how much damage is done, what do I need to do. We're gonna go out to the warehouse and see how you'd address it there. This is the cabinet you see on every street corner. It, it has basic components in it. We have our battery backup, we have the controller. This is the controller, this tells everything that happens in the signal. This piece of equipment monitors what this is doing. But if anything strange happens in this cabinet, it puts it in a flash, protecting the public. Then we have all of our load switches that changes the reds, yellows, and greens. This is a normal operation of a traffic signal uh, uh, that we can test. We can go through and we can change the timing and we can test it and I can simulate a green out. I can simulate a pedestrian walk that doesn't work, what the signal's going to do. Turn that number seven out, just to unscrew it, yep. Okay, so now it's flashing red. When a signal goes into this kind of a condition, something happened. It done something strange. The conflict monitor said, hey, whoa, wait a minute, something's wrong. Is there, what, what button do I need to push to fix it? We gotta, put the, we gotta fix the bulb. Yeah, so what you do what you do is this this just goes in like this and then it holds it. Make sure all the wiring goes down in there. And then you'd tighten this. And there's your traffic light. Turn that back in. Get that tight. Okay. So now what we do is come out into the street and on this conflict monitor, we can diagnose what happened. We had dual indication, meaning we have a green out on seven. So now if you want to hit the reset button. Reset. And the lights, looks like they're back to normal. So anything that happens, this is, this is the place you're going to come and see what's going on. Yes, this, is, this, is, this tells me everything that is happening in the street live. Now, let's say they're going to put in a new traffic light somewhere in town. 
what would need to happen on this end of things. This particular cabinet will be going out to Fifth and Holmes when they redo that intersection. So right now I'm currently building the database to test it to make sure that it operates the way we want it to. Well, thanks again, guys. This has been fascinating to learn about. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Well, we're, uh, we're here to serve. You know, we, uh, we, we take pride in our traffic system. It's uh, fiber optic to each and every intersection. We have fast response. We know what's going on. I can, a lot of times I can alleviate the complaints right, right off the get go. Cause I can sit in my desk, I can see it live. I know what's happening. Yeah. So we're, we're more advanced than most cities. Yeah, that's great. All right. Well, there's a look at the city's traffic management system. Thank you for watching.